Hi everyone, I'm G1 Ryder with G1 Insights and this message is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Venus in Virgo. Virgo, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is your life and love energy for November 2020. I am excited for you all because I know that there's definitely a sense of transformation here for you, especially for most of us, even all, but especially for you, Virgo, there's definitely a sense of transformation here, okay? The month of November, I, you know, is actually one of my favorite months, believe it or not, you know? I like to call it Twin Flame Month. <laughs> this is a month where lovers kind of come together and make amends, you know, and um, it's where things tend to take off, you know, new beginnings. People are getting ready to start their new journey, their new life. So I get really excited around this time of the year. So here in the States, you know, we have a lot to look forward to. We have a couple of holidays coming up. We have um, a lot of gatherings. We have Veterans Day. Like, it's so much to look forward to in the month of November. And not only that, but the month is in the 11th house. So it is number 11. And 1111 is a very powerful numbers guys it really is it's a huge synchronicity so there may be some things that you guys may want to look after or look forward to um at this time in the month of november okay <coughs> excuse me okay so virgo here we are please also check out my website guys um g1insights.org if you would like to book a personal tarot reading you guys can also subscribe here to my channel each and every tuesday we normally go live but as of november 3rd um we will not go live on instagram because of course of the election and everything else and i want to make sure um I want to make sure that everyone is out doing what they need to do. So I, I don't want to be a distraction. Okay, so with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, all right, Virgo, here we go. All right, so we got the Angel of Miracles here. We also have self, self reliance. Okay, and you also have new opportunity, or opportunity is knocking. Wow, so there are definitely new beginnings here for you, Virgo. Are you going to get up and are you going to grab it? Or are you going to sit back and say, mm, I don't know, I'm going to think about it? You know, what are some things you're going to do this season to make sure that you are able to live the best life ever, okay? It's so important that you live your best life this season, Virgo, because, you know, I think that all earth signs are going out of 2020 with a bang, you know? I've been saying that for like a few months now, but I've never meant it more now than ever and for you Virgo it definitely says here that you know the need to open your heart and expect a miracle is very much needed my love expect a miracle my love do not you know um take anything for granted you know if something is like hey you know we want you here we need you you know we're willing to help you whatever this advice is or this opportunity is it says here not to let this opportunity pass you by okay have an open heart and open mind and expect a miracle for a lot of you this can be a financial breakthrough for a lot of you this could be just something um coming to fruition something that you've prayed for something that you waited for for a really long time but it says that it's time Virgo for you to go for it okay it is definitely time for you to be open to it you know I know that maybe it may be an opportunity that kind of already presented itself to you but now it's more clear to you now than ever that yeah maybe I should just jump on this opportunity and do it so something it seemed like even some old ideas or um old feelings or something may also come up to the surface this is the month where things will also be revealed so we've been dealing with that revealing energy for like the past few months now for um, august we had a hint of that and then september and october i mean the energy just kept going so for the month of november it's like it's all coming into play now like it's all kind of coming together so it makes sense why we want to focus a bit harder why we want to work a bit extra harder we know that there is a new moon approaching us in scorpio around the 15th give or take a day um and that is probably the time where you're going to really be in tapped and tuned and turned on into your dark side you know um really really kind of diving deep or kind of noticing people's bullshit you know um you may also also why am i sounding like 
or sir. <laughs> Why am I sounding like that? I don't know if you guys are traveling somewhere, but that whole accent just like came out of nowhere. Okay. Um, <laughs> so also some of you, um, you know, may want to, you, I guess you guys are just like digging a little deeper into your personality, dressing more sexy, going out more, trying to be more spontaneous. Even in love, some things are changing for a lot of you. So we ha do have some tarot cards here and we're going to look into uh, the cards to help you get more clarity, okay? So, um, but the last card here says self-reliance. You know, don't be afraid. Afraid. Oh my God, why is that accent coming out? Afraid. You know, golfer. <laughs> what is that accent? Are you? I don't know if you guys are traveling or you're thinking about traveling somewhere foreign. Okay, well maybe it's a lot of my foreigner watchers, you know, watching me. I don't know. <laughs> but they keep coming out. Oh God, listen, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Okay, I, <laughs> there should not be no accent like that up in me. Okay, listen, <laughs> self reliance. <laughs> don't be afraid to fly solo okay so yes virgo no matter if you feel like you would like to have a team ride with you go with you um support you it says that this is the time where you really genuinely don't need a fucking soul like you can literally do this or by yourself okay let's look at some tarot cards and let's see what the universe has for you overall my love okay wow look at that okay we know when that happens, I got to put it back. I got to reshuffle, get confirmation. We know we need confirmation. Show us why the Angel of Miracles is here, the opportunity, and the self-reliance energy. Why is that here? And look at that, Virgo. That is your own energy. That is so crazy to me. It's so crazy because Virgos are normally, like, in traditional tarot deck, you guys are considered, like, the hermit, you know? You normally do walk alone, but just because you are walking alone, my love, doesn't mean that you are lonely, okay? So don't, you know, allow the, the negative energy that may try to sneak in and says, oh, you can't do this by yourself. Yeah, you can, you know? Of course, it's better when you have a team or some friends to kind of tag along with, right? But it doesn't mean that you still can't achieve this opportunity by yourself. Like, you can still get advice. You can still, you know, talk to some friends if you want or whatever. But it doesn't mean that you can't fly solo. Like, hello, I'm born to do this. Like, do you know who I am? I'm the fucking Virgo. Yeah. Like, we were born to do this alone. Okay? If anybody can strive to the top alone and don't necessarily need everybody to tag along... Yeah, it is definitely you, okay? All right, here we go. Enough talking. <laughs> Woo All right, so wow, 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 wow. You are a bit, like I said, guys, you are being called to do this thing, okay? You are being called to finally step into your destiny. You are being called to finally say, you know what? No, I don't care if you believe in my goals. I don't care who supports me. You know, this is what I want to do. This I've been trying to do this for years and I finally have an opportunity to do it and I'm going for it. You know, beautiful energy, Virgo. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen you so ambitious like this. Like I know that overall Virgos can be ambitious, but I've never seen you this um, strong at it. Like you guys are really, really dominating um, your choices and your options. Like you're really saying, no, I'm going for it. I don't care if you like it or not. You know, it is what it is. And so some, yeah, that new career may be waiting for you in that place that you're deciding to move to, okay? Um, that new job, that new lover, okay? Um, yeah, that new love life, whatever it is, something that you've been dying to do is literally coming into fruition. And the universe is allowing it to really work out in your favor, my love. So if you have been thinking about relocating, don't be afraid to get in contact with people. But again, don't feel like, well, damn, I'm alone. I don't really want to be alone. You know, you can do this alone. Okay. However, is it, in my opinion, I think it is better to get opinions or get help if you need to, but do you need to? No. Okay. But I think it is better if you do. 
all right? Now, we do have the five of swords in reverse. So guess what? That means that there is no more conflict. There is nothing else standing in your way. There is no more chaos. There are no more obstacles, okay? You guys are literally getting the victory, okay? Opportunity is knocking. Go for it, okay? Nothing else is standing in your way. Nothing else. Like before, you can say, oh, my spouse. So before, you can say, oh, I don't have the money. Before, you can say, oh, I wasn't ready. You know, what if I can't find the perfect apartment for me what if I can't you know meet the perfect guy or the perfect woman like yeah I feel like nothing is standing in your way at this time Virgo so if I were you I would jump on this train or forever hold my peace because this is definitely an opportunity that you do not want to let this you do not want to let this pass you by okay look at this you even got the will of fortune so guys it is definitely time for you to get moving it is definitely time for you to move forward with this plan okay whatever it is it is time for you guys to move forward, okay? So be proud of yourself that you're actually uh, taking initiative this time around, okay? Um, I also, again, with the angel of miracles being here, again, expect the miracles. So something is definitely working out in your favor. So whatever obstacle was in your way or that may currently feel like it may stop you, it's not going to be something that stopped you at this time. In fact, like I said, earth signs are going out of 2020 with a big bang. You guys will not be stopped. Stuck. So no matter whatever it was that you guys were dealing with or facing over the summer, this energy is not about conflict. This energy is about coming together. It's about harmony. It's about digging deeper. Hmm, I wonder if I actually took the chance and did the opportunity. I wonder what will happen if I actually did take them up on their offer. I wonder what will happen. And guess what? You guys are being the risk takers, okay? Normally that is not you, but I feel like you have this only, again, this it's like this overwhelming feeling of just being motivated like I've never felt you guys being so ambitious like you guys are really ready to do the work to save the money to do the re you know to uh, check out your resources to check out the new places whatever it is that you felt like was holding you back okay this can even be education for some of you whatever you felt like were holding you back maybe you wanted to go back to school maybe you didn't have the money maybe you wanted to relocate but you was waiting for the perfect time now is the time this is your confirmation now is the time do it stop procrastinating stop waiting and waiting and worrying and waiting and worrying and waiting now is the time stop worrying and waiting worrying and waiting stop being pessimistic now is the time okay Okay, so this is a time for you guys to be very positive, have an upbeat spirit to go after what you want to do. And if you're constantly sitting around worrying about a situation or a person, guess what? How are you going to ever accomplish anything if you're consistently allowing people or situations to interfere with your emotions and how you deal with things? That stops now. This is your confirmation. Okay, guys, it is time for you guys to move on. So I have some love cards here. Okay, so let's look at some love cards. All right, well, let's see what's going on for you in love. But yeah, it's definitely time, Virgo. It's time. It is time for you guys to move on. All right, Virgo. This is for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Horizon, or Venus, and Virgo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, here we go, Virgo. Yep. So you're definitely separating yourself. Wow. And the, and the back of the car is love. Okay. So again, maybe move relocating will help you find this brand new love that you are searching for. For a lot of you with the will of fortune being here, separation did come out of reverse. So I don't know if, you know, maybe you and someone were having issues or maybe, um, someone had departed like in a very sad way, you know, like maybe they passed on, um, but it says here, you know, you could be thinking about, you know, or you could be reminiscent, thinking about someone special, um, really wishing that this person was here with you. And maybe that is why the self-reliance has come out. Maybe spirit is letting you know, even though this person is not here with you anymore, it doesn't mean that you can't fulfill your dreams. It doesn't mean that you can't push forward, okay? Um, but it says... You know, this is crazy, Virgo, because when I did your Mercury Retro, and I don't mean to stop like that abruptly, but like even when I did your Mercury Retrograde reading for October 13th to November 13th, you know, it talked about your feelings being on safety. Like, and I think that this time around, you're saying, okay, I'll do it. You know, I'll open up. 
fine. You know, I'm willing to do it only if, <laughs> only if, <laughs> okay? But I see sadness missing you, thinking about you, you know? Um, so this person could even be thinking about you, you know, yearning for you, wishing that you guys were back together. Um, but this is not you, and this is definitely, um, I mean, this is not them, this is definitely your energy. Um, or you could, you know, this could mean an actual separation. You know, maybe you are separating from old love patterns. Maybe you keep falling for the same type of individual. You could be separating from your environment. Um, you know, even though you love someone, their energy has been there and it's been bugging you. Maybe you feel like if you can move, that that energy won't still be bothering you emotionally or spiritually. Um, but this can also still be like an actual separation, like between you and your spouse. Okay. Or maybe there was a separation of something. Okay. But I see here that you guys are going to be talking. This also came out in reverse. In fact, all of your love cards came out in reverse. Um, but it doesn't, you know, with this deck, it just simply means that you guys need to focus focus on this a bit more okay it says talking okay maybe you need to talk about your feelings a bit more but it says you know if you're interested in someone you definitely need to, need to let them know um this new love that may arrive to you you want to try to be as open as possible to try not to be um too standoffish <clears throat> um i also see here text call so some type of important information um may come to you or arrive at some point either through like a text call or email okay or this person could be kind of watching you from a distance so maybe like um maybe they're in your neighborhood and maybe you know they're watching you they can also be watching you like on social media um they can be like kind of watching what you're doing paying attention to who you're talking to and you know why all of a sudden you're so fucking happy you know they, they they're very curious to know um, what's, <laughs> what's been going on lately? Because again, the five of swords came out of reverse. So again, I feel like you had this grand opportunity to make your life better and you're choosing not to even deal with the chaos anymore. And yeah, this person wants to talk. They want to know what's going on. They, I feel like they may not even want the separation, you know, but again, that's totally up to you, Virgo. We also have photograph here. So you could be looking at some photos. Again, somebody is feeling very nostalgic. I don't know if this is this person or this is you, but somebody is really missing you. Somebody really wants to work it out with you and really get to know you. Um, yeah, they want to make, I feel like a new connection. Like they, you, it's like, if it's not, again, if it's not them, then it's you. Maybe you are desiring a better or a new connection with someone new. Again, you know, I don't know. Take it how it applies, guys. This is a general reading. For everyone, that separation could have been something totally different. Um, but yeah, I feel like you guys, the best way to get over this or to heal through this is to talk about it, to vent. Or if you don't want to talk about it, then try to at least talk about what you desire, you know, what you feel or what you would like to achieve in love, you know, um, what you would like to accomplish. You know, try not to spend too much time feeling nostalgic or worrying about, you know, the past. You know, oh, we've been together for so long. I'm not sure we should break up. You know, maybe spirit is saying, no, I know that, but I have something better for you, okay? Um, for some of you, like I said, this could have been a separation and maybe someone knew it. Is definitely coming along because as I said at the bottom of the deck we did get love okay so it says unconditional love self-love passion affection and attraction so you know this could be learning to love yourself again but I feel like you guys been on that journey anyway for a while and I think that this current situation you're like listen I'm not done with this no more like I'm so ready to to do me <laughs> I think all earth signs are going through that this season you guys are like whatever like I don't have time for this shit like I'm ready to move forward and be happy if you're not trying to roll with me then you know bye you know it is what it is, you know, but like I said, either you could be like kind of stalking this person on social media or they're definitely stalking you. But either way, Virgo, you guys have a lot to work through. And for each and every one of you, this energy is going to play out differently. OK, for those of you that are married, it might play out differently. You might think of recon um, having a reconciliation going on. OK, um, they could be for those of you that are single. You might have this feeling about your ex or maybe you don't want your ex back and maybe they just keep harassing you. All right. Um, for a lot of you, this can be um, this can be an air sign like a Gemini or um, Aquarius. For some of you, this can be a water sign like a Cancer. OK, or a um Scorpio, okay, for some of you, this could be another earth sign, like another Virgo, all right, and then for some of you, yes, this can be, um, I feel 
air very strongly and water for very strongly for some reason because I, that's what I see here is water and, and air a lot, okay? Um, for very few of you, this can be a fire sign, all right? But, you know, take a habit applies. <laughs> Virgo, I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. So that way, each and every time I go live or upload a video, you guys will be amongst the first to find out. We go live every single Tuesday on Instagram. Follow me at G1 Insights. And you guys can also check my website out, G1Insights.org. If you would like to book a personal tarot reading or purchase one of my beautiful holiday candles. And there will be updates as well on my website um, with the transitioning of like the holidays and the, the weather and the zones that we are in. So um, again... Again, this is one of the things where you just want to become a member and stay in touch, you know. Um, with that being said, I love you and thank you for watching. Take care of yourself, Virgo. Bye.